Here we are at Pico de Pico. We were gonna try for the biggest hike, the highest hike on Madeira here. It's starting off to be a bit of a cloudy day. <laughs> we're up in the clouds, but it looks like it's supposed to burn off. So we're gonna see what it looks like. We're gonna give it a go. This is supposed to be one of the most beautiful parts, but as you can see, it's completely in the wind and in the mist. And you're supposed to be uh, able to see out to the ocean from here, but it's not so good. So I think we're gonna uh, just go a bit further, but call it and then uh, try again another day on a sunnier day. We'll see you at Pico another day. You're watching Track Us Down, a real-life show-and-tell channel about downshifting to a meaningful retirement, living a healthy lifestyle, and enjoying all the freedom that comes with it. Join us, and we'll show you what that can look like for you in your retirement. So this week, we got to thinking that even though we've been here a year, we are still looking for certain people in our lives. So we have found many over the past year, and we want to share them with you today, because if you were thinking of moving abroad, either as a digital nomad, an early retiree, or a regular retiree, these are the people that you will need to find. So the sooner you start thinking about it, keeping a list, looking on different sites, or just talking to people and narrowing it down, the easier it'll be for you when you move abroad to a new country in a new language to find the people that you need to find. Fun fact, Madeira Island is closer to Africa than it is to Europe. Located just 280 nautical miles from the African coast, yet it is more than 500 miles to Lisbon. Fun fact. So the first person that came to mind for me was I needed to find a new hairdresser. So if you are a person who can cut your own hair, or I, I guess if you're bald. <laughs> Why'd you look at me? I'm not bald yet. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't need this. But for me, finding a hairdresser was kind of a big deal. So it's a lot of word of mouth, but there are tons of hairdressers here in Madeira and I think in general in Portugal. And surprisingly, there are a ton of barbers for men and they all seem to be attached to a tattoo shop. Yep. So if you want to get your hair cut and a tattoo at the same time, there are tons of choices for you here on Madeira. The next person you may need to find is a doctor. There are a ton of choices here on Madeira, especially around Funchal. We found a doctor quite easily. We had to get a medical for our Portuguese driver's license. At the time we had private health care because we needed that for our D7 visa. But even if you don't have a D7 visa or you just have the public health care, it's easy to go into a hospital and they'll hook you up with a doctor in no time. They have a great healthcare system here in Portugal and on Madeira. And interestingly enough, we were told, and I think it's true, that all the doctors do train in English. So everyone we spoke to spoke English and we ended up with a doctor from South Africa. The next person that you may need to find when you retire abroad is of course a dentist. Having good dental hygiene and keeping your teeth healthy in your retirement is very important. We've been here almost a year now and it was time for us to go get our teeth cleaned. We're, we've been used to getting our teeth cleaned and a checkup about two times a year and here we are going on a year. So we went and found ourselves a dentist here in Funchal that came recommended and we had a cleaning over the last couple days. You should uh, do cleaning one time a year. Okay. And one thing here in Madeira, it is fairly inexpensive to keep your teeth clean and go see the dentist regularly. And we found it so professional in a very modern setting with a TV, everything you need. It was just like being back in the US or Canada. They had a dentist and a hygienist 
working at the same time. We each got a full cleaning. It was a consultation, a cleaning, and a polishing. So the cost of the checkup and the cleaning was 50 euros per person. You do have to ask around to see who speaks English for dental care and who, re who the expats recommend and who even the Portuguese people that you meet start recommending and narrow it down to who you would like to see for your dental work. If you are here in Madeira or Portugal or wherever you decide to retire for any amount of time after you've been renting for a while, you may be interested in purchasing a property. And in that case, you're going to need to find a real estate agent. There are many ways to go about doing that from just looking online and hearing recommendations, looking on Facebook and going that way or just even asking people that you meet. But it's important that you narrow down what you're looking for for a real estate agent and important that you kind of filter out people who who might be real estate agents but are just looking for expats and looking to only have business with people who are coming in. You just have to be careful with who you're finding online or through Facebook. They may be looking for someone exactly like you and trying to upsell you on property rather than really working on your behalf. Another person that you may definitely find that you need, especially if you're buying property here in Madeira, is a lawyer. There are many lawyers here to choose from. We are very lucky to find a well-established, very experienced, long-time lawyer here from Chell. He has many expat clients, many people from overseas that he helps to show through the buying process and get all the contracts and everything in order. We are very happy with him. If you're looking for a recommendation, we'd be happy to do that. Just give us an email. And the way we found our lawyer was really a boots on the ground kind of initiative. We were looking for a lawyer. We literally were knocking on doors and we were so lucky that we knocked on his door because he is just excellent. That was very lucky. It turns out he was one of the better ones. And a bonus fun fact, here in Portuguese, lawyers are called avocados. Advocados? We always get it mixed up until you see it spelled out. It's not avocado the fruit, it's avocado the lawyer, like an advocate, but it looks like an avocado. The next person that you need to find if you move abroad and that time will come around is when you need to do taxes. You will need, in our case, or in your case perhaps as well, is a Portuguese tax accountant. That is a person that you can find through recommendations, talking to different people and looking online. But for us, we wanted someone very familiar with Portuguese tax laws, as well as the NHR program, as well as we wanted someone who spoke English. So once again, if that is something that you are in Madeira and you are looking for a tax accountant, we would be happy to recommend that if you would like to send us an email. One of my favorite snacks here in Portugal are my own mixture of chamochos, otherwise known as lupini beans and olives. You get this mixture at the restaurants quite a bit mixed together. I like the olive juice in there as well. What I like to add, of course, is a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of piri piri sauce in there, and of course, some basil. Mix that all up. That goes great with a corral beer. One of my favorite things to do is to float three olives in my beer. And it's fun, they, not only does it taste delicious in your beer, but they float up and down like a lava lamp. But of course, if you wanna go away, sometimes you'll need a dog sitter. We are very fortunate to find a dog sitter here on Madeira. It's a kind of a national Portuguese company, DTC Dogs, and they open up a branch here on Madeira. Just this week, we met with Mario, who runs the Madeiran branch, and we went and saw where he looks after the dogs. Beautiful area just outside of Funchal. Just a great guy. He kind of follows Cesar Milan's way of thinking. He's kind of a dog whisperer himself, and he just, you can tell, he just has a great way with dogs. We have no problem leaving Leo with him because we know that he's being truly well looked after. So if you have a pet, like a dog or a cat, and I think he looks after others as well, he's your guy and he has people who work with him as well. And you really feel like your pet is being well looked after. We are so excited because next month we have something very exciting coming up. We are actually for the first time doing a home exchange and we'll tell you a lot about that in another video, but that is why we need somewhere for our sweet Leo to be watched while we head off to Lisbon. So those are just some of the people, there's definitely more, that you should meet when you move abroad. These are the people that you're gonna to need to just continue on with your day-to-day -day life and just to make life more comfortable. 
Let us know down below if there's anyone on your list that wasn't on our list. It's important to have that list ready to go so that as you hear information, you start gathering those names so that you'll be ready for your move abroad. And as usual, we'd really like to thank you for watching and for subscribing. You know, we say it really helps our little channel grow, and it does. When you make comments down below and when you subscribe to our channel, it helps the algorithm show our videos to other people who might be thinking of retiring abroad to a better second half of life. So as always, check back in and... Track us down.